I think I owe you a proof. I owe you a proof uh, for my technique to breed Falaknot with Müller with kimchi bottles in the substrate for uh, the oviposition process instead of using white rotten uh, wood pieces. And today I want to uh, see whether I can uh, uh, give you, show you this proof with a box um, where I had a female. It's a third box where this one female was in and this box has only kimchi bottled from Raishi, that's Ganoderma lucidum, and from Pulmonarius, from the uh, oyster mushroom. And we will have a look now whether we find something in here. Um, and of course, because there are only bottles, I'm very interested to see whether they have laid their eggs in substrate or whether they really went into these bottles as I told you just before. So first I have to clean up here the surface a little bit. The female um, has laid around 60 eggs before already. It was a very long living, long lasting uh, female that had lived uh, for around half a year or, so, or slightly more. So we will see what happened here, whether she still had more power to lay eggs in this uh, container. And now we need something to put the substrate in. And of course I hope that I can show you this thing. So what I all, uh, also put into the substrate is a uh, kimchi material from a kimchi block, but this seems uh, untouched so far, so I don't see anything. Um, so now we come, uh, probably it's better to show it this way, because can you can watch, you can see inside, these are the kimchi bottles here, you will see, can we see that, yeah, here's one, here's the other one, now let's take it out and have a look. This is completely empty, I don't know why, probably there was uh, some somebody inside but now it's nothing there so here's another kinship oh here is the part of the body of the female or the male I don't know it exactly so we put it away too now here's another bottle of kinchi yeah here <laughs> that's really nice you see that that's a kimchi from Gonoderma lucidum, yeah, as I, I see it from the color of the, of the mycelium and from the hard pieces here, that it's the uh, mycelium of Gonoderma lucidum. And if you look here into these uh, windows in the bottle, you see two very big larvae of Holocrognathus in here. Now well, let's have a look whether we can see that under the, under the loop under the microscopic camera also, or the, whether it's too close to the object, up to the lens now. It should be, should be possible to, yeah, here you see it exactly. That's, here's one uh, larvae and hit the larva and here's the other one. And now we have a look whether we find some more in there. Could be that there are not only two. And you see how easy it is. You just have to put this bottle into the substrate and of course then you should try to open it very carefully so that you don't cut um, that one of your larvae in here. I try to do that very carefully. And then the process of retrieval of larvae is that easy compared with um, the process when you try to dig them out of, of hard uh, white rotten wood, that's really difficult and also really dangerous for the, for the larvae. Look how beautiful they look here. <laughs> okay. Now, oh, there's more. There are more here. Look. On the other side too. There, there's one here. One here. And if we turn it, there's another one here. Now let's have a look whether there are more on this side. No, but they have completely eaten up this substrate inside of the bottle and just left um, 
the lid on, on both sides because this gets very hard with the mushroom so nothing can come in here and they were safe there who they are really big so what do we do we first check whether it's a male or a female I think this is a male and it's an L2 and this here seems to be also a male this seems to be a female so I for the male I have prepared a, a big kimchi bottle where it can dig down and live for the prop practically to the end of the larval phase here and I have a second of this big um, uh, bottles of kimchi the same kimchi uh, with the exception of the mushroom and um, I mean the sawdust is the same uh, recipe as uh, with this kimchi made from Pleurotus pulmonarius but um, now here I have to make another bottle you can see how I do it I just open off the, the box open uh, the bottle open on one side then I, I I take the the upper part of the kimchi away because this is the grains of wheat with the mushroom mycelium for inoculation that is uh, too that is um, too heavy to eat for the for the larvae so I have to put it away and now the larvae comes into this small hole voila I think these are all uh, males now here now let's have a look whether we find some more stuff in the box because it's it's not empty it has a lot of material in here so first I take out some of the stuff Oh, here's another kimchi bottle. But this one is, was completely emptied. This is hollow now, nothing in there. So let's see whether we find a lorry somewhere. Um, well, probably the best to just turn it over and have a look now. A lot of worms here. See that? And here's another bottle. So what's with this bottle? Let's have a look. This was a little a bit deeper in the substrate but this seems untouched now you don't see anything from outside and normally if there is a larvae, larvae inside you will see that because they try to dig in this direction around so uh, I think there's no larvae in here anymore but I think that's enough to show you that it's, it works very fine with this uh, kimchi bottle it could be that the female was already old and she laid only these three uh, last eggs where it beautiful males came uh, from and we will see with the other box that I sh showed you last time how I prepared the breeding box how we will look in about three months thanks for watching